Question five is an interesting question. You may also find it as slightly tricky. Here's what it says in figure 6.17 that we see here. POQ is a line. So let's highlight this line POQ. This is a straight line. Ray OR is perpendicular to line PQ. So Ray OR is this line and this ray that we see here. This is perpendicular to PQ. That's why we see this um, perpendicular symbol here. OS is another ray lying between rays OP and OR. So OS is this ray uh, which lies between OP and OR. We have to prove that angle ROS, this angle here can be written as half of angle QOS minus angle POS. So let's highlight both these angles. Angle QOS is uh, this whole angle here, angle QOS and angle POS is this angle here. So what the problem says is that we can write, show that we can write angle ROS as half of the difference of these two highlighted angles QOS and POS. So let's figure out how to solve this problem. So the reasoning that we will use to solve this problem is that both of these angles QOS and POS, this angle QOS and POS, both of these angles can be written in terms of angle ROS. Can you figure out how? I would urge you to pause the video for a few moments and actually think about this. Try to write both of these angles in terms of angle ROS and then take their difference and you will arrive at the result quickly. Okay, hoping that you've actually thought about it. Let's go forward. So first I'm going to write angle QOS, this angle that I marked in blue here in terms of angle ROS. How? Well, angle QOS is simply angle ROS plus this angle of 90 degrees. So I can write angle QOS as 90 degrees plus angle ROS. Now similarly, if I take angle POS, this angle here, this angle that I marked in green, how can I write this in terms of angle ROS? Well, this angle POS is actually equal to, if you take this whole angle POR, and from this angle, you subtract uh, angle ROS, you get angle POS. So this is the reasoning you can use to write angle POS. Angle POS can be written as angle POR, which is 90 degrees minus angle ROS. So these two relations form the key to the solution. So if you have not understood how I have written these expressions, once again, pause the video for a few moments and think about it. But now the question, uh, the solution forward is really, really easy. All we have to do is we have to subtract these two equations because we want to find and uh, we want to get an expression that has QOS minus POS, which is this RHS here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one minus two equation one minus equation two. What do I get on the left side? On the left side, I get angle QOS minus angle POS. And on the right side, what happens? The 90 degrees cancel out and I have angle ROS minus, minus angle ROS. So angle ROS minus, minus angle ROS. This is what I get on the RHS. So this is equal to two times angle ROS. Now this is cool because now I can write angle ROS, an expression for angle ROS. Angle ROS will be, I just have to take this two and divide it on the other side. So angle ROS will be half of um, the difference that I have here, angle QOS minus angle POS. And that completes our proof. Angle ROS can be written as half of the difference of QOS and POS which is what we were supposed to prove in the uh, problem. So with this, we have uh, completed question five of the exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.